Hello, my name is Madison Combs. I'm with Jeffersonville High School. This is the after school gear up. And today I wanted to show you a neat and fun activity to do at home. It's homemade ice cream. So these are the things you're gonna need. You're going to need some sandwich baggies and I recommend two per person, okay? So if you're doing this with several people, each person needs their own. So you need two of them. And you're going to need a big gallon baggie per person. You're also going to need salt, any type of salt to work. If you have table salt, that's what I have. I'm working with that today. You can also use uh, big rock salt. Anything will work as long as you have that. You're going to need some measuring utensils. So you need a half a cup and you need a fourth a cup. You're going to need some type of milk. Now, you want the thicker, fattier milk. So you either need whole milk or some type of half and half or whipping cream. You're also going to need some bowl so you can eat it afterwards. A spoon. You're going to need some ice. So I've crushed up some ice here. Okay. You're going to need lots of ice. And if you're doing vanilla ice cream, you're just going to need to add a few tablespoons of sugar and some vanilla, just a splash of it. If you're doing it the way I am today, I'm going to do chocolate. So I'm going to add some chocolate syrup to mine. And when I add this, it's already got the flavoring, so I don't need vanilla, and it's also got the sugar, so I don't need sugar. If you wanted to do like something else like strawberries, you could add that too. Just don't put the big hunks in it. You want to crush them to make different types of ice cream. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to take your sandwich baggie, just one of them, okay? And you're going to fill it with half a cup of your cream or your milk or whatever you have. Okay, so we need to fill it with half of a cup. Okay, so there's that. Close the lid. Okay, so right now we've got our half of a cup into one sandwich baggie. And into that, we are going to add some chocolate syrup. Now, don't add too much because it'll be a little harder to get it to thicken up into ice cream. But you do want to add a good amount. Maybe just a couple tablespoons. I'm just going to eyeball it. So let me show you here. Just going to put some chocolate in here. Okay. Now into this, you're going to seal it really tight. Because remember, we don't need sugar or vanilla. Because the chocolate syrup already has plenty. Okay, we're going to try to get the air out best we can. I'm going to seal this. Okay, so we've got our chocolate syrup in here, as you can see. And we've got our milk in there. Okay, now here's the important part. You need to double baggie it, okay? Because we're gonna put this into a salt ice mixture because salt makes it get colder faster. But if this happens to break, you're gonna have salty ice cream. So we need to make sure we double baggie it. So put it in there. Try to get all your air out again. Double baggie it here. Okay, so nice and tight, make sure you check it, okay? Then what you're gonna do is into a bag, you're gonna put ice, okay? So you need to fill up your baggie best you can with ice, okay? Just like this, okay? And then we're gonna add more ice. So, we have our ice in here. Now, here comes the part with the salt. 
you need to add a fourth of a cup of salt into your ice mixture because again it'll make it really cold really fast okay so i'm gonna do this on top of the baggie move this over here baggie gallon baggie of ice we're gonna add our salt Okay. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we need to get that ice all throughout. So I'm just going to shake this up a little bit. Okay. Now, we're going to take our milk and chocolate mixture. Okay, get it dissolved. So we got chocolate ice cream we're going to make. And we are going to put this in the middle the best we can. Okay. We're going to close this up. Now, here comes the part of waiting. But it'll be quick ice cream. We have to shake this for eight minutes. Okay. Now, eight minutes, you can either do two to three songs to get that. You can give it to um, a younger brother or sister and have them dance around with it. Put it in a garbage bag. Put this into like a grocery bag just to extra seal it because it is cold, just beware. But you need to shake it now. So for eight minutes, so let's put a timer on. Got my phone here to put a timer. Okay, and we need eight minutes so here we go It gets cold. The little trick I found is to use uh, oven mitts. So let me show you. So we're just going to put some oven mitts on. It keeps your hands from getting too cold. So here we go. Keep going. You do this with a partner, you can trade off every four minutes. <laughs> Make it a little easier. Okay, we're halfway there. We're getting closer and it's getting, you should see it getting a little thicker in there. Okay, I think we're getting close. Three minutes left. Be careful, like my bag is starting to bust. So just be careful. Maybe do it outside. Okay, let's see how far. Got a minute and a half left. You can feel it. It's getting ice cream. Getting closer. Got a leak, so be careful. Let's see. We are almost there. 30 seconds. Home run. There we go. We made it. So now, this is the part you got to be careful. You want to take out the two baggies, okay? Put the ice and the salt mixture in the sink, okay? But rinse off the baggie. I know we double baggied it, but you don't want any of that salt to get in there. Okay, so go rinse your baggie off first, and then I'll show you what the ice cream looks like. Okay, so now that I rinsed the baggie off of salt, you can look. We have ice cream. So this is why you only want to do half a cup, okay? It's going to make two scoops of ice cream, but if you do more, you're going to have to shake it for much longer than eight minutes, okay? So now you can just take it with your spoon, 
into your bag. I'll show you here. And there you go. Got some ice cream. You can form it into something, make it ice cream sandwich, whatever you'd like. Hope you enjoyed. Have fun.